go behind the, 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 the car and go out on the road. You know, step out on the road. And this is really a revolutionary move in itself because I have never really heard of a radio station deciding to say, look here, we're going to send one of the program out there, you know. But the program is not for advertise some alcohol or advertise some naked session or thing. But it's to really get the people them involved in a something that is near to them. So the Coral Garden thing, as we say, is not isolated from Tivoli Garden. It's not isolated from the three man them where the policeman them killed the other day and, and the three of them come from the same family. It's not isolated from the little girl, immaculate girl where them kill in the car and, and, and say the man them did a shoot after them. It's not isolated from none of these situations. So we really give thanks. Because this is the first now I personally, after being 21 years here in the IRA, going to now go up on the road with a program. And this program now is, is very important to me because this, this going on the road represents not only Rastafari, in the essence of it, but it also represents the people. You know, as I said, this Thursday, at least next Thursday, Thursday I come, we step in race and we're going to step out on the road in a serious motorcade right through the heart of the city. We are telling people them this, that we're going to go up on the road Starting from Ward Theatre, we're going to go right to Mandela Park. We we're going to have a rally. We want the people to know that. And we say, Rasta man, the pan, the PNP, bandwagon, JLP, bandwagon. We say, Rasta, where I sing and I play and I talk about, you know, this and that and too much talking. Well, this is the opportunity now for show your face because we see strength in numbers. And we are now call upon the the people them who realize the injustice is being done to Jamaican people by the state and realize say, the state is the enemy of the people. We now have no apology about that. The state has become the enemy of the people. We are now going to rally for and because of what the state is doing to the people. Sensitize the people them in understanding what is really taking place. How is it that so much killing by police? It looks like the police them are run down the killing for the, the, the year. You know, we hear about 1,000 people dead by mur murder. It looks like the police them are saying, all right, we're going to see if we can get 1,000 plus. You know, if we deal with it. It, 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 it. We shouldn't live in a situation where police are kill almost more people than the murder, the gunman them. And, and on the other hand, we shouldn't live in a situation where the, where, where there is no justice in, in, in the courts, where a case goes, whether it is incest, child molestation, whether it is murder, theft, whatever it is, where a case is in the court for five, six, seven, eight years before you even have a coroner's inquiry. I, I cannot understand. I mean, we, we talk about, for example, the, the cash plus situation. We see the all in situation. The the, the the perpetrator in the, uh, in the all in situation has been tried in two countries, I think, already. Yes, yes, yes. Before, America. before yeah. the, 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 what has happened? Where it was? Where it was? Yeah, it was here. Yes. Yeah. And, and and at the same time, the, the cash plus situation is being dragged out, and people are are, are, are dragged from left, right, and centre, torn in many, many, in many, many directions without any justice, and that is a whole different thing in a motor because there's just so much injustice. The, the legal system in Jamaica, as you point out, is not a justice system. No. And so this is another issue that we have to look at: that there is no justice in the courts, and if there is no justice through the courts, and there is no moral justice. And there is no economic justice and political justice. Yes. Then w where does that leave the people? What do you leave the people to do? Eat themselves? Well, Cannibalize? Well, is that the matter? do? Can you see now, because a man see you next door to him and him can't catch a man who oppresses him, him catch a man who beside him. And then you say, a serious thing. That's why we don't talk about tenement yard the other day. You know, like, tenement yard used to, used to deal with a certain communal living. Right now, people live in a gated communities and thing him, him like him feel say him separate from where go on so a man who come home six o'clock and him go lock up in him little apartment him totally cut off everything we are going outside there eh? you understand that's why sister p you know really listen to the news you know she she, she make her husband listen to it because she don't want the negativity 
and really and truly the negativity are gone. So you can't isolate yourself from the negativity. What you have to do is do something and talking about, isolate, about the negativity. Talking about isolate yourself, that is another place to where we're talking about there is no justice. Because we feel like the members of parliament have isolated themselves once they have won uh, and, 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 and now living in some bubbles and some glass houses that they think every, and they sing through rose tinted glass. So, and everybody talking as if all is well, all is not well. And we, you know, the, 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 the multi million dollars that they used the other day, 60 odd million dollars to buy high end motor vehicles for themselves. Mm. And they turn around and ask us to tie, tighten our belts. Some of us bursting like ticks here right now. They turn around and ask us to, for, for, for wage restraint when they themselves are not restraining themselves. The cabinet is the biggest that it has ever been. Yes, and them don't they, want to cut it. They are not taking any salary cut, yeah. but they are asking us to pay more taxes. No, there's most come up point. M money we're supposed to build out to the people, them, them have it. Them hijack that. Hijacked they have stolen the, 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 the idea now is to steal that. Yes. You know? Scam. Scam. Yes. The biggest scam. National scam. So where do we go from here? Chaos our community. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be joined by um, the members of the Coral Gardens Committee. Um, Sister Isis will be in. IAV, Prophet um, Greg, African Love, Priest Bailey from the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, Ras Ivy, Sister Anita, uh, so many more joining us in the studio this morning as we talk about where do we go from here? Chaos our community. It's happening right around the time of the 50th anniversary of the vicious, violent, cruel, brutal Coral Gardens um, massacre. And I think this is the time that we say enough is enough. Okay, March 24, 2013, the third annual International Day for the Right to Truth. The Right to the Truth concerning gross human rights violations and the dignity and for the dignity of victims. On this day, countries of the world recognize that victims of atrocity have the right to know the truth about the abuses they suffered. Do you, do you remember Any person who has suffered atrocities has the unalienable right to know who is responsible? Any family whose members have disappeared has a basic right to discover their fate and whereabouts. As we say, Tivoli Gardens. Every society where these crimes have taken place have the right to learn their history without lies or denial. Do you remember Carol Gardens today? Yeah, you know, Andrea, after being on the radio so long, you know, I, I, I always saying. We should have done outside broadcast or something, but for some reason or another, I never want to go out there because of a company sponsoring it. For say, you know, we are going to go promote a product and yes, thing. You know, I didn't yes. really want to go out there with a mission. You know, and really, I really feel good for know say the mission is this. Cause after so much years, I never been on the road doing a live broadcast, and the mission come right in time now when it's the fiftieth anniversary of Jamaica independence. It's the fiftieth um, memorial of the Carroll Guard incident. And we also realize that uh, it connect with other things from two thousand and ten with Tivoli Gardens and other things we are going on in society. So we want to as as a person who run this the the the, 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 the stepping razor program with the Rastafari community now. We are called upon every concerned citizens every concerned citizen especially the rastafari community that we are going to make with voice be heard and we're going to make ourselves be seen and we want to see all the ones them out there on the street everyone especially the rastafari bridge and sister in them who know say them are declare rastafari for music for songs and all these things and on stage them need to be seen out there, not just to be heard on record. Because really and truly, you can't just hide yourself behind a microphone continuously and jump up on stage. This is a time when we need the people them to know, say, look here, Carol Garden, the people them was part of this atrocity too. Because I think the police them did have beat Rasta, but the people them did have beat Rasta too. And then also now we who recognize the need for justice amongst the Tivoli Gardens people them. We need the people them for know say Rastafari is with the people them. Because we are we are the people. So we recognize this. So this 
situation that will be an, will, will be happening on Thursday is a two twofold thing where we have our problems and we are under we know so the people them our people is not really knowing of the Carol Gan thing, especially the youth them. We want to sensitize the youth them into this. And also that we want the people them to know that we understand the atrocities that the police is still doing against the people of Jamaica. And one of the main things that took place three years ago is the is the Tivoli Gan thing. And so we need the people them to know say, yeah, Rasta a motorcade and I keep rally. But it's not just a Rasta. It's the black people in Jamaica who go through the atrocity of the state, knowing that the state now seems to represent the enemy of the people. And it's an opportune time, Muta, because you kind of contextualize the thing really great because there's a, so much happening. And I know our listeners are saying, but we are Muta on the road all the while. I'm saying it's the first outside broadcast. I really mean it's the first outside broadcast of, of his own program. My program, program yes. Program, my program, yes. Um, on, on the road. And, and, and it is going to be the stepping razor on Thursday, which will be part, by the way, the, the RFM shockwave will be part of that motorcade. Um, and we're going to hear from the brethren because they've joined us in the studio of the Coral Gardens Committee about exactly what the day will look like in terms of a march and, and, and then the week after because there is um, the, the motorcade, the march, the protest, the rally on Thursday. There is the symposium in Montego Bay on Friday. Then there is a grand concert at Jarrett Park on Saturday. And we broadcast live uh, towards the end of that concert on Sunday morning. Um, the, the Running African, the RFM Forum, we're, we're part of Montego Bay with the shockwave once again. So the shockwave on the road <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for this season. So I have VS Janus in the studio. Morning, my brother. Greetings once again. Yeah, greetings, Angie, and greetings to your listeners, you know, all over the world. Um, well, it is good again that we can be here talking about Coral Garden and trying to sensitize our people. And as Muta rightfully said, it's not just about Rastafari. Because we are from amongst our people. We come from out of the guts and the boils of our people. We couldn't be who we are unless we, you know, belong to our people out there. And knowing that the atrocities did not start with Coral Garden. And it didn't start with Pinnacle because our people have been resisting slavery and colonialism from ever since. And we continue to resist it. Um, so anything that happened to our people out there is always a concern for I and I as Rastafari. And we want our people to understand that. And as I said, Jerry, it's not just that our people... I mean, bear atrocities at the hands of the state. But our people living in a state of landlessness, which this is from way back when. When our ancestors, I mean, when the chain came off our ancestors' hands and feet, you know, 1838, our people didn't get anything. So they have been living how they have been living from then. It is said that out of the 3 million people that are here, between 900,000, and I want you to listen to this, Angel, because I heard you making some statement towards that last week. And our people need to know the exact statistics coming from the Statistics Department of Jamaica. Between 900,000 and a million people in Jamaica are called squatters, having nowhere to live. And a lot of these other people have to be renting place and to be leasing place. So 900,000 to a million, because we were saying 600 to 800. Yeah. But right. 900,000 to a million. To people. a million people. Uh, yes. Approximately one yes. third of yes. the population are called squatters. Mm -hmm. Right? So it, 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 it's a struggle. And I and I as Rastafari, it's just merely that we are the brave ones who come out front and try to confront the system. But we have to speak not only on behalf of I and I as Rastafari, but we have to speak in defense of our people. Just the other day in Westmoreland, and as you know, I am from Westmoreland, three youths were shot down innocently, innocently, and it spread a wide level of demonstration throughout Westmoreland mm -hmm. and Saint Elizabeth. You know, so it's not a matter that the atrocities have taken place and gone or finished with. These atrocities continue to take place. In 2010, when, when the Tivoli thing was taking place, Mama Fire had a bingy settings out by Spring Garden. And it was cut down 
by by this theater.